Do we know who he is? No wallet, no ID. He took a slug to the chest near the neck, close range. Looks like a second bullet grazed him. Stick up gone bad? Now, let's set up a 100-foot perimeter. Maybe we'll get lucky with ballistics. There's a lot of this red dust on his clothes. Probably from this wall over here. The school just finished sandblasting the facade. There's a key on the end of this chain. I don't suppose his address is on it. Make it easy, one. Mm -hmm. He looks too young to be a teacher. He's not from the school. Not a parent either, as far as we know. So how would he get on the school grounds? Gates closed around 5, but the nighttime custodian keeps the side door open until just after 8. Paul Miller, Justin Menkes, your homeroom teacher's waiting. Any discipline problems we should know about? If there's any problem in this neighborhood, I can assure you it's not at Wilshire. Meaning? Meaning we've had trouble since the city opened that residence around the corner. Homeless shelter? A transitional center for recovering substance abusers. We had a teacher mug not two months ago. We heard that one of your residents got popped for robbing a teacher a couple months ago. How come nobody runs for cover when they see our guys picking litter off the ground? Maybe because people don't know who they really are. How about last night? Anybody from the center out and about? Curfew's 8 o'clock. So you do a bed check? What? It's not a correctional facility, detective. Meaning what? We work on the honor system. Not just a house key, detective. A medico. Yeah, it's a good lock, so? Uh, every one of them's cut differently. Some even require ID cards to replace. See this stamp? Means it's part of a master key system. So there's got to be thousands of those floating around? Yeah, but this one's a real granddaddy. So you're saying we can actually trace this back to its owner? Maybe halfway. I called Medico. They say the key was part of a shipment to Fields Hardware back in 72. 72? My old man ran the business then. Order this small would have been for a residential building. We put up a bunch of post wars around that time, mostly near Union Square. You know, there's four others just like it in this neighborhood. All of them use Medicos. Yeah, we know. We've been. Hey, Ray, hmm? you recognize this kid? I can't say I do. Recognize the T-shirt. The T-shirt? The logo. A few years ago, theater group, sort of a benefit. I helped the Brooklyn Posters. It looked just like that. Is this kid one of the scholarship winners? My god, that's Peter and Joanna Wilder's boy, Scott. Peter Wilder? A real estate developer? What happened to him? You say Scott's body was found in the schoolyard. That's right. Maybe he was coming home. The truth is, we, um, I haven't seen our son in some time. He was having a hard time finding himself. My wife liked to make excuses for our son, but it was pretty obvious that by continuing to support him, we were just preventing him from growing up. So you stopped? <laughs> I don't know if either of you ever had a child make decisions you knew were destructive. It was the hardest thing I ever had to do. A few weeks ago, I come home and find some money in a drawer. A thousand dollars. Did you ask him where he got it? He wouldn't tell me. So I used the money to pay the rent and told him to leave. What about other people Scott worked with? I mean, way back, there was this one guy, Richie, but since then. Richie have a last name? Then I get this call, and he shows up with his girlfriend. What'd this girl look like? Maybe 20, 21, short brown hair, pretty. When I found the money, I also found this. I don't know why I even carry the damn thing around with me. Alan Rosenbeck, OBGYN. It's an appointment card. I take it the appointment wasn't for you. And the writing on the back, it's not Scott's. Scott was seen arguing with her at the crime scene the night of the murder. From all accounts, it wasn't the woman he was living with. The doctor wouldn't tell you anything about her? Not without the other patient's consent. We might have a grandchild out there somewhere. You don't have any idea who she is? This is the sign-in sheet from the doctor's lobby. The day your son had an appointment, we're hoping you recognize the name. A woman did call once looking for Scott. We only spoke for a moment or two. When I told her Scott wasn't here, she just hung up. So, wait, wait, here. Jesse. I think that's it. Mom, what's going on? Police officers, they want to ask you some questions. About what? Sky Wilder. What happened? He ripped you off? Is that it? It was nothing like that. Then what was the argument about? I mean, it wouldn't have anything to do with a doctor's appointment, would it? You know what I think? I think he got you pregnant and then he didn't want the baby. That's sick. Or maybe he didn't want you. I mean, he's sleeping with you, he's living with another woman that couldn't make you feel good. Will you please just stop? 
not. Then you find out that he won't pay. Only you know about his family. You know that he comes from money. No! You called his parents' house one day. What was that? A shakedown? No, you don't understand. Scott wasn't my lover or my boyfriend. We were brother and sister, okay? Brother and sister! So much for our theory about a lover's quarrel. And she lawyered up. But my detectives did some digging on the internet, and it seems this doctor authored several papers on kinship analysis. Kinship analysis? Yeah, it's a paternity test when the parents aren't available. Yeah, but I just haven't heard of too many cases where the mother doesn't know. Well, it looks like she was trying to prove Peter Wilder is her father using his son to do it. So why kill him? It's got to have something to do with that test. I had an affair with her mother a long time ago. And you've never taken a paternity test? We advised against it. But I've given this woman whatever financial support she's asked for. Now, submitting to a paternity test results in a loss of control over the situation, even with small odds. I wasn't about to play Russian roulette with child support. Were you aware that Jesse had made contact with your son? No. But about six months ago, I'm sitting at my desk, and a receptionist calls me and tells me my daughter's on line three. You spoke to her? Yeah, the truth is, we just hoped she'd go away. Jesse Lucas, we have a warrant for your arrest. My daughter did not kill Scott Wilder. The charge isn't murder, Miss Lucas. It's extortion. I was a different person when I knew Peter. I was dating several men. It's a little difficult to tell your daughter. You don't know. What did you tell her? One day, she saw me looking at a newspaper photograph of Peter. He was standing there with his wife. Anyway, Jesse just asked me, is that my daddy? She was eight years old. The look in her eye. She needed my answer to be yes. You believed this man was your father for a long time. Until the kinship analysis told you he wasn't. It has to have been difficult being this family sailing through life year after year when you and your mother struggled. But none of it was real. You knew that the moment you saw the test result. Which means Scott knew, too. Killing him would have been the only way the truth would never be known. I really believed he was my father. I mean, I would look at his picture and just know that he was my dad. And I couldn't understand why he didn't love me. I couldn't understand what was wrong with me. How my own father could just pretend I didn't exist. Finally, I realized that money was the only thing important to him. So you had Scott help you blackmail his father? Scott hated his father. What happened that night? They think Peter killed Scott. Based on what? Well, for openers, your client can't produce a 38 caliber handgun that's registered in his name. I already told him I purchased that gun over eight years ago. I didn't even know it was missing until today. Lenny, what do you got? Red dust. You been to any construction sites lately, Mr. Wilder? We had arranged to meet Mr. Wilder to get money. Money for what? to keep Scott and me quiet about the fact he was my father. And did you, in fact, meet Mr. Wilder that night? No, I did not. Why not? Because I found out I wasn't his daughter. And finding out just made me understand that whatever it was I was looking for from him, I wasn't ever going to find it. And I needed to get on with my own life. Did Scott Wilder agree with your decision? No. See, Scott thought that he was finally going to be able to expose his father. And when I told him that I wasn't his sister, he just couldn't let it go. He thought that if he did, that his father would just get away with it, with the affair and everything. You spent a long time on this quest to find your father, didn't you? But even when you knew, when you knew for a fact that he was not your father, that didn't stop you from trying to blackmail him either, did it? I didn't go through with it. But Scott did. Yes. Scott, the son who stood to inherit everything, and you, the rejected child with nothing, but it was him. He was the one that did it. That's what we argued about. 
You knew that the only way that your plan could succeed now would be if Scott were to keep his mouth shut, and that's why you killed him, didn't you? No! And now you dare come into this courtroom and blame his father for his death. Your husband called Brenda Lucas several times in the days before Scott was killed. We know she told you Jesse wasn't your daughter, but your son was still willing to betray you, wasn't he? He was still willing to fleece his old man. And you just couldn't let him get away with that, could you? It, it wasn't like that. You sat there and allowed your lawyer to accuse that girl of murder. What else could it be? You killed him. Listen to me, Joanna. Listen to what? How to turn our son out into the streets? What happened that night, Mr. Wilder? He was waiting for me in the schoolyard. Same way he did when he was a boy. <laughs> he was so sure he had me. When I told him I knew, knew the truth, it was like his whole world just fell in on him. That's when I saw the gun. He must have taken it at some point when he was in the house. I, I don't know. He, first, I thought he was going to shoot me. But then he, he pointed it. He pointed it at his own head. He started to cry. He said, uh, this is what you wanted all along, isn't it? What you always wanted? I could see he was going to do it, too, just to get back at me so stupid. So I just reached for it, but he wouldn't let go. He... The gun went off twice. When I looked down, his eyes were open. I would never hurt him. Whatever you may think of me, Joanna, he was my son. We gave up the right to call him our son a long time ago.